So another gorgeous day, as you gather. Uh, beautiful blue sunshine. Not a cloud that I've been able to see. And uh, that somehow or other makes it a cheerful day. You will notice I'm... Well, maybe you don't notice. Okay, here you go. Um, I'm wearing yellow today because it definitely is a sort of summery day. Definitely needed to wear something bright. And I wore the blue earrings to match the blue pants that I'm wearing. And I can't show you right now, but I'm wearing blue and white gingham sandals. So cute. So it looks good in summary. I was watching um, a few other videos last night. I try and fit in at least one or two, and it's not always Benji and Judy's. Um, and I actually watched one of a little girl who's 11, and she's got her own YouTube channel. It's so cute. And one of the things that she was vlogging about was the fact that she actually didn't feel, she felt a bit burnt, burnt out, except she didn't use that word. Um, she felt a bit burnt out and hadn't vlogged for a few days. And I, of course I had to do to her what you guys always do to me when I get into that, she called it the funk. I like that. I think we all get into the funk every now and then. Um, and I just wrote to her and I just said, you know, whenever that happens to me, my viewers are the first people to totally understand and tell me to, you know, take as many days off as I need until I've got my energy back again. And so I'd like to just acknowledge that from all of you, how good you are about um, doing that. It's just, and I cannot tell you how empowering it is when you do it. You know, I, I think... I can't speak to other vloggers, but I do know that when I'm not feeling up to it for whatever reason, I feel quite guilty, literally quite guilty. Um, and there's part of me intellectually that knows you will understand, but there's other part of me that is a giver that goes, gosh, you know, I need to do this. This is, this is what I've committed to do, and this is what everybody expects of me. And I notice it a lot um, on Ben, G and Judy, when well, picking on Judy's channel. Uh, if Judy doesn't put up a video every single day, um, people are complaining. Wow. And it's not just a, you know, I don't get a sense that it's necessarily just a worry about her. It's just like, where's my video? You know, you haven't put up your video. I need my video, it's like a fix. Well, hello. <laughs> if for any reason, somebody as popular as Judy doesn't put up a video one day, you must know there's a good reason for it. Because, I wanna tell you, <laughs> that young lady lives to put up those videos. I mean, you know that. First thing she does is she gets out of bed before she even wakes up Juliana. She's saying good morning to all of you. So, I mean, <laughs> cut us some slack here, guys. Um, and it's funny because Benji uh, obviously had looked at a couple of videos of mine uh, where I had been supporting them and um, he just wrote me a note to say how thankful he was about that. Well, wow, um, he's family. I mean, not blood family, but you know, he is part of my extended family. And uh, when people start bashing on my family, I get quite upset. 
this is quite interesting actually because I'm now a lot farther along the drive than I normally am uh, when I stop videotaping. And the, I thought just this today, actually I hadn't thought about it, but now that I'm this close, I'm going to. Um, I thought I'd take you all the way so you can see how long my commute is. Um, because it appears that because it's summer, the traffic has absolutely died down. It's just like suddenly when it became July 1st, the traffic really changed. Um, it was like what is normally very busy traffic suddenly isn't. And that's great for me because it helps me along my way. I purposely come to work a little bit later than the average Joe. Um, and I stay a little bit later. I find it far less stressful because there is less traffic and therefore it makes for a more pleasant commute both ways. And if there's any way that you can do that in your life, it's, it's not a bad idea. Of course, you can't do it in all companies and you can't do it if you're on shift work or whatever, but um, if you're in a job where it is possible, uh, it certainly changes your mentality. And one thing, there's one thing when you're fighting against the traffic every morning. There's another thing when there's hardly any traffic and you can just enjoy the drive. Um, so it's a, just a regular outing, you know, you're not pushed with all the noise and people without any manners, all that sort of stuff. So just a suggestion, if ever you can organize it, do it. I'm actually very fortunate <laughs> on that side. And I was looking at today, we hit 93,000 already, did I tell you that? So exciting. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually, my personal goal is that we will hit um, 100,000 views by our first anniversary, which will be um, August the 25th. Now, at the time that I made that goal, there was no, it didn't look like it was going to be easy by any matter of means. It really looked quite difficult to do, uh, but it seems that now that it looks like it's quite possible to do, so that makes it quite exciting. I'm, I'm really happy about that. And I know that a lot of you um, have been so so loyal about just visiting all the time. It's been incredible to me. I always wondered, why would anybody watch an old fart like me? Um, and yet so many of you have and watch regularly. And for that I am very, very grateful. I'm hoping that you do get some learning out of it. Because that is exactly what Benji had always wanted. You know, that's what he said. That, you know, we want to share you with the world. Um, and so it is really great when I hear that it has helped you or that I've just been talking about something and it, it was relevant to your day. Um, we, we all need those little moments, I think, of, of upgrade, of, of boost, if you like. Um, I'm about to put up another life lesson um, about how to handle um, people beating up on you and it's an extension really of that parental anger one I did uh, but it's more generic and I wanted to just give you a way that if somebody is arguing with you um, how to actually be in the conversation but actually not escalate the conversation because most of us when we get into an argument we make it much worse by our reactions and I thought some of you might uh, helped if I gave you some clues on how not to escalate it. Now having said that, you do understand I'm not perfect all the time and so when somebody does that to me, some days I do it well and some days I don't do it well at all. It really depends on where I am to start with in my mental um, being. So if you actually are in a really good place and somebody beats up on you, it doesn't affect you nearly as badly 
as if you are already down and somebody beats up on you verbally. Um, and so I am well aware of that. So even when I do this particular uh, life lesson for you, remember it's not about being perfect, it's about try it out, see if it helps and just keep practicing it. One day it might just help you. Well, I'm probably just three or four minutes away from work now, which is amazing. And hopefully the traffic noise hasn't been too bad because really there hasn't been any traffic worth seriously considering. So that has been a very, very pleasant drive into work so far. Touch wood on my dashboard here. <laughs> um, because I'm not there yet. I don't like to tempt fate. I know that um, some of you have been telling me that you've been trying to get on to join us on Tiny Chat. And like any learning curve, it's a little bit difficult just to get onto it to find out how to do that um, but if ever you're having any problem just write me you know and I'll talk you through it the other thing is that um, if you want to test it out um, and I'm available uh, I will definitely make time and if I'm not available I'm pretty sure that uh, I'll be able to get one of my viewers to help you. Uh, as I said, we're a group of people, it's not just me. We're a group of people and uh, I'm sure that if I can't make it on a particular day, uh, I might be able to get one of my other viewers to be able to help you and show you how Tiny Trap works. It's always easier once you know how to do it. I've always said everything's easy to do once you know how to do it. boss parked in my parking space. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. This is dear Mama Sal. Careful not to hit the boss's car. Saying bye-bye for now. Okay, so this is the sink in my other bathroom. Let's turn the light on here so you can see it. Um, as you can see, it's actually an oval shape. You see that? And it's big. It's nearly big enough that you could birth a baby in there. But it looks great on this um, granite. I just love it on the granite. And by the way, for those of you who haven't seen, this was the, um, the reno of my guest bathroom. So, I just love that too. <laughs> All right, so you want to see how this one works. This one has what they call a bamboo faucet. And that's how a bamboo faucet works. But it's a really great sink. And what I love about it is that almost any time that anybody comes to visit me, they use this bathroom. <laughs> I just tell them where the bathroom is and you just go down the hall, turn left. They walk into that bathroom, this bathroom that I'm standing in right now, and they go, oh, look at that sink. So I guess it was a good choice. And by the way, that one as well, is it wasn't, <laughs> I think it cost less than 200 bucks for a really beautiful uh, sink that makes, makes a lot of impact. And in this particular bathroom, I have one of my pictures that I did. Uh, I know some of you are interested in some of my artwork. So this is a called Blue Peony. And it actually is um, a smaller piece of a picture that I took that I um, enlarged to that size because I just loved it. And if you look very carefully, I'll just let the camera adjust, it almost looks like I painted feathers. Can you see that? 
and I didn't. It was just the brush that I used created this and when I actually blew it up to much bigger than it originally was, that's the effect. <laughs> I just went, wow, I couldn't have done that if I tried. Okay, so this is another one of my paintings. This one's in my dining room. And I'm going to zoom in here because I want you to see something. Do you see those sort of look like acne spots on the left-hand side there? Um, what they actually are are air bubbles. Oops, that'll make you sick. <laughs> They're actually air bubbles in the paint. So that this again was part of a flower. I didn't actually draw this parrot that you see. I actually drew a flower and this was one little part of it that I took out and I blew up to get this incredible effect. And uh, those bumps that you see are actually enlarged air bubbles in the paint as I was painting. Don't you think that's incredible? <laughs> Love this stuff.